It's Friday, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a treat. <laughs> a rarity. This is, you know, Halley's Comet only comes around once in 76 years or something like that. This is a rarer sight than Halley's Comet. There is a tub in my house, within my reach, that still has Tunnock's tea cakes in it. I know. I was shocked when I just remembered 15 seconds ago too. They will be gone tonight. Um, so, Friday 3rd of December, time for another writing prompt. No ifs, ands or buts. Basically just me giving you a word you can use to kickstart whatever content you're creating today to get your awesomeness into the world. So, this is today's book. It's going to be this. Scale While You Sleep by my good friend Chris Orzakowski. There we go. I'll give his full name. Oh, got to pose for the thumbnail. There we go. That's fine. So, this is Scale While You Sleep, which is uh, email automated sequences for e-commerce brands. It's, it's a pretty good book as well. So, a very good book. He's a good friend. Um, so, let's go through this and let's see if we can use an e-commerce automation book to give you a nice little email Kickstarter. If you are joining in on the hashtags, God, a little piece of me dies every single time I say that. Hashtag knife. Uh, I'm going to flick through, say stop whenever you like. There, okay, we'll start there. Uh, we'll go on this side, over here, which is a template. Don't zoom, don't zoom in. Um, we're on the word here. Is that interesting enough? No? Let's go to the one to the left. Break. Ooh, break is a good one. Break is a good word. That means so many different things. I like that. Um, right, so let's do the, here's what I do with this section. So, with a break, there's a couple of things you could do with this. There's a breaking point. I don't really like talking about breaking points and stuff. I should do. But I'm not, not a great one for the urgency in my emails. So, I would probably focus on the fact about it's important to have a break. It's important to have a toast tea cake every once in a while. It's important to have these kind of things. So, I would probably do that. So I would probably advise business owners because let's let's keep it copywriting. Let's say I'm talking to business owners about copywriting. Very often they feel knee deep in it, like they're all in on stuff. They're getting information from left, right, and center. I would say I would write an email stressing the importance of stepping outside for a bit because your brain will process stuff, but it needs time. Once you've filled it with ideas, step back and allow the magic to happen. You can't just create ideas by sitting back and doing nothing. You need to fill it with ideas. But it's important to have that break. So maybe I'd focus on that in the copywriting process. Because I think a lot of people think, a lot of business owners presume this should come naturally. That we just look at a blank page, create the sales page from start to finish, and it's done. But no, we go for wanders in the woods, we think about stuff, we smoke illicit substances, we gorge on high carbohydrate snacks. We do all these things to get our brain to process it for us. So I'd talk about that. If you're struggling with your copy, I would say go for a walk. But make sure you do the work first. That's important. So that's what I do with this. The word break. What about you? I'll give you uh, as long as it takes me to weirdly stare at the tunnocks to figure it out. Oh, baby. Yeah, that got weird. Um, so there you go. If you want to join in, hashtag noifs. And uh, yeah, that's your word for today. Break. Make a video social post, email, whatever the hell you want, and then uh, point it at me. I'd love to see what you do. Goodbye!